sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Gehenna, Judgment Day. <coughs> <coughs> the apocalypse. Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. You killed all of them? You. Huh. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Oh. 
Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got a lack of restraint to keep their mouth shut. Seth. Yeah? That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! What? Sorry, Hubie, but I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Tell me of this so-called bishop. Ah, I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. A wise choice, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. You have done well. Your status is much raised here at the Chantry. Perhaps you might have a place here with us sometime in the future. What is it you would like to know? Of course.
Did you see it? He done tore him up, right in two, ripped him apart like a rag doll. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and the, well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. The dead fella called him Muddy. Oh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. No, he never come back. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. <laughs> Baby girl. Hey there, Missy. Small world, eh? Yep, after that gallery, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. Uh, you, uh, here to see one of the bigwigs, Missy? Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up.
Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. If you need any security, well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks, there have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship... I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Enrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. I suppose I can spare a few seconds... Yes, it's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930... I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. 
I'm Ventru. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my counsel. Yes. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Yes? Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Yes, he's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Which is... In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction... The Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Which is... All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside... However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact, or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Yes. Which is... Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind, or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages, bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go, and remember... Under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Need a ride? What's the hops, bro?
You, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Specifically? What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Specifically? Not easy, even in this country. Military-grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo can take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Specifically? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Specifically? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Yo, lady, over here. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. 